Wait, how much for a Photoshop subscription again? I can't afford that. But what if I could do all the same things for free and get even more features? So I've scoured the web and found the most interesting AI tools that will edit your photos for you and make them 10 times better. When I think about AI editing photos, I always think about something prompt based. Why do any manual labor if I can just type in what I wanna see and get the results? And that is basically what the first AI tool does. With deep AI, all I have to do is upload the image, type in what I want to get, and click generate. It's that easy. For example, I can upload a picture of me standing in the desert sun, and in a few clicks turned into anime. Okay, maybe it's not the best example, but nonetheless, let's enhance it. There's this little button underneath the image, and if I click on it, the AI will generate a higher resolution version of this image. Now I want to try and make myself a robot wearing sunglasses, and these results are questionable. Somehow it decided to give me only half the sunglasses, which proves that everything depends on a correctly written prompt. Let's change the time to night. I will just type in change the time to night and hit generate and boom, now it's a night photo. I'm in a funny mood today, so let's spice things up and change my t-shirt to bare chest with a six pack. And as you see, this prompt turns a blue shirt into short with the image of a six back. So I will slightly modify my prom and ask AI to just give me a six pack. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not a mathematician, but I think I've counted nine packs, not six. Well, the more the merrier. <laughs> I think this is a fun and really simple to use AI. And if you need to do some quick and small edits, try it out. And once you do come back here and like this video, let's show those algorithms who's the real AI master on YouTube. Because the next AI should go straight to mayors and city council. Let's say you live in New York, beautiful city, yellow taxis, heaven and earth. But there's only one thing that makes it not super photogenic, homeless people. And we all know how politicians love to talk about taking people off the streets. So with this AI photo editor, every mayor can just erase homelessness in one fell swoop. Let me show you. I will upload this sad picture of a homeless man sleeping in the subway. Now I will use the brush to select him and then click the big purple clean button. Whoa, where did the homeless man go? It's like he was never there. Pure magic, I'm telling you. Oh wait, is that graffiti on the wall? Gun. Dirty floor? Gun. A dent in the subway car? Not anymore. Solving city problems has never been that easy before. But seriously, don't ever show this to your mayor. Let them do their job and we should make a quick stop and talk about the sponsor of this video, Southern New Hampshire University. I'm looking at all this and thinking, very smart people work in creating AI tools. This reminds me of my years in college that I wish I could have done differently. I know you think that being a YouTuber has always been my dream job, but before I start my YouTube journey, I was trying to build a life as a game developer. And now I understand how the lack of experience has stopped me from doing so. Are you feeling like your current experience is holding you back from pursuing your dream career? Well, I have some exciting news to share with you today. Our sponsor, SNHU, has one of the largest online degree offerings in the country and is a non-profit institution. I want to take a moment to tell you about their game development program, which is designed to help you develop the skills and knowledge needed to create professional quality designs. In this program, you will learn to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design. Additionally, you'll be taught by faculty members with real-world experience who will teach you how to research, develop, and contribute to advances and trends within the field of game programming. The game development program also covers computer programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java, you'll work in Unreal Engine to construct games for various platforms and learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. The best part, SNHU is known for being radically affordable with some of the lowest online tuition rates in the country. Check out SNHU website linked in my description to see what the current average annual salary for a game developer is and to request free information about the program. When you request information, a friendly representative will be happy to hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you personally. It only takes one click to start your journey towards your dream career. And now back to the video. Okay, let's do some real photo editing. I will use Be Funky for that. After I upload an image, I jump straight into the editing menu. Here we can see a lot of regular familiar stuff like cropping, exposure, sharpening, and so on. But on top of that, there are a bunch of other features with the AI mark. The first one of the bunch is AI Image Enhancer. This tool takes my photo and 
analyzes it, breaks it down, and somehow figures out the best way to edit it. As you see, it made the photo more HDR-ish, more bright and overall more impactful. And I had to wait only a couple of seconds for this result. The best part is that I can manually choose how much I want the image to be enhanced, which can be really useful. Now, when I'm looking at this photo, I see the flaring from the lens, but I can fix that in no time. I'll just use an AI object razor, select all these flares with a brush and select raise object. Half a second and it's done. And that is still not everything. How about changing the sky to something more interesting? I will go to change sky, let AI do the analysis and select the sky I like from the list. I think this one fits the best. I can also fine tune the sky to create a perfect blend between my image and sky. After 15 seconds of editing, everything looks basically perfect. Be Funky also can properly upscale images and bring back details that are lost or denoise everything, making blurry and noisy images look good. I think this is a very fine and interesting AI to try. It can do a lot of stuff, but not everything. So in search of additional features, I came across Runway ML. This AI has a couple of features that I really like. The first one being image expansion. I just upload the image from before, select the scale, the aspect ratio, and allow AI to do its magic. After a few seconds of waiting, I got four photos of me, and the third one actually looks really, really good. I think if we ignore the way it treated my hand, this image is safe for social media. But this is not the end, because now I want to remix the background. In backdrop remix, I will just choose bakery, wait a few seconds, and enjoy the results. Well, enjoying is not the right word, because backdrop remixing works best for objects like furniture, lamps, and so on. Basically, it is a tool for product photography, not for people photography. There's also a cool erase and replace feature. I can just select the area of the frame and enter a prompt of what I want to see there. It struggles to create complex things, so you better stick to something simple. For example, drawing a French bulldog eating sushi is too much for it, but writing hello is quite manageable. Runway ML is quite an interesting tool to try and master. It has a lot of potential. The next AI tool is called My Edit, and if you love filters and art, you're gonna love it. Despite having all the usual stuff like image enhancements and upscaling, it does much more. For example, I can create interesting AI scenes from my images. I will once again upload a photo of me, which as I found out is quite a benchmark, and choose graffiti style. The results are unusual, so AI decided to make me Indian? Uh, what about the jungle style? Indian again? This, this doesn't seem right, don't you think? Let's try the last one. Sunset. Yeah, this one's better. It looks nothing like me, but this almost looks like a photo with a ton of details and even lighting is very similar to the one on my photo. Really good. This AI can also turn photos into cartoons, which this photo of a cat shows quite well. And it also does pretty good job of removing background from the photo of our furry friend. But as I said, this AI is all about filters and art. So let me show you AI anime. How would I look if I was an anime character at a festival? Well, like this, apparently. I do like the art style, but this person doesn't really look like me. How about a school? Well, that's not what I was expecting, that's for sure. But who knows, maybe I'm in a skirt under the table. You just don't see it. And I will not show you. Okay, zombie Arthur, done. I do love how close the posing and overall feeling of the image remains. No unnecessary edits or changes that might make it look goofy. Really fun AI tool, I like it. But more than that, I like reading your comments. So if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, leave a comment and sub to the channel to help it grow. Another great AI is Folder. It has a ton of features like creating AI avatars, generating images, removing background and more, but the most interesting and effective ones that I have found are Skin Retouch, Face on Blur, and AI Expand. Face on Blur makes the face more pronounced, a bit smoother, and gets rid of pixelation. In combination with Skin Retouch, I managed to make myself five years younger. Just look how smooth my skin is. I'm basically a baby. A baby with a beard. But don't mind that, let's expand the image. The first version is not what I'm looking for, so is the second one. The third one probably looks the best, let's leave it. And as you see in the photo, I am laying on the bed, but will AI be able to understand that I have legs? And oh yes, yes it will. Apparently AI thinks that I have ladies legs and wear some sort of a wedding dress and high heels. I don't know what AI loves so much about this look, but I think it's pretty funny. There are many more interesting features in this AI, so the next time you have free time, be sure to try it yourself. What I found after looking at hundreds of AI AI photo editors is that they can do pretty amazing stuff. If you are persistent enough and can explain what you want in a coherent way with a nice prompt, 
then your results will be great. And if you're just messing around and having fun, that's exactly what you're gonna get. For those of you who want to learn prompt engineering and step up their game, we made a guide to creating the best ChatGPT prompts and you can watch it right here. And uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.